painting of the Grand Canyon I had? Yes, I do. Wait, had? Yeah, someone stole it. I gotta go. You're going to jail, for real this time. You won't escape again, I'm sure of it. It's been a while, Zabunko. What's been happening since last time? To me, nothing much. Got warm out, bought new shorts, brought back the short sleeve t-shirts. Haven't been posting on my YouTube channel in a while. It's pretty much dead. Been wondering where you've been. It's been four months. Well, it sounds like we have a new case today. What's going on? Well, I mentioned on the phone that my painting got stolen. The Grand Canyon, yes. And you need me to find who took it? Well, sort of. What do you mean? I have a suspect. And who might that be? My former best friend, Jane. She always told me how wonderful the painting was and that she'd do anything to get it. She's offered to pay me on a bunch of occasions. It was getting kind of annoying, really. I said no every time. One time I came home, my door was unlocked. The painting gone. I smelled her perfume. So did she have a key? No, but she knew how to pick a lock. She's always bragged about a, one new skill or another. The latest was lock picking. I see. How's your friendship? How many years? We've been friends for about six years. Tea? Sure. Well, thank you for the tea. I think I'm gonna go have a chat with your friend, Jane. Sarah was mean. She definitely didn't work to keep a good friendship. We've been friends for six years. I knew her. I knew when she was mad. Sure, I liked the painting, but I sure didn't ask to have it all the time. Jane, do you know how to pick a lock? I do. I learned a few days ago. Does Sarah know that you can pick a lock? Yes, I told her as soon as I learned how. I just wanted to talk to her, keep the relationship going, really. I see. It's a very interesting perfume you're wearing. Is that a compliment? It is. I like it. Thank you. Just a question, Zabunko. Why are you asking about this whole painting thing? Sarah, she thinks you're the one that stole it. Me? Steal her prized possession? I don't think so. She thinks you're the prime suspect, called you her former best friend. I can't even believe all of this. Well, I think I've heard all I need here. Oh, by the way, I have a suspect, and that's not you. Jane, do you know how to pick a lock? I do. I learned a few days ago. <laughs> It's a very interesting perfume you're wearing.
I was wrong. What a turn of events. Jane, you're under arrest for the theft of the painting belonging to Sarah and for murder. What? I didn't do any of that! Sarah is dead. A bed paper clip was found by her door, which you used to pick her lock, and fingerprints were found on the glass that used to poison her. Yeah. No. Now, I got a body to take care of. A few major mistakes. First of all, the perfume. Smart. Except for the fact that the scent is more potent than it would be on a normal person. And the scent is just as fresh today as it was yesterday. So you freshly sprayed it. Second, the picked lock. You mentioned that Jane just learned lock picking, which is true. But you forgot the fact that a beginner lock pick always leaves a scratch on the lock, especially when they use a paper clip, which you have dropped on the ground. Third. Poison in the glass is fresh today, the same as it was yesterday. Also, the condensation under the glass is the same today as it was yesterday. You just placed it there. Then, there was the clue of the fingerprints. Nice touch leaving Jane's fingerprints on the glass. You just forgot the fact that in order to get the dosage of poison that you say that you have, you would have had to pick up the glass yourself and take the poison. Your fingerprints, however, are absent from the glass. You never picked it up. And lastly, the paper with the J on it was under you, and it would never actually be under you. Jane would have placed the paper next to you or on top of you, but never under. Now, where might the painting be? You would be smart enough to not keep it in the house, so my best guess would be perhaps the shed. Now, you thought that nobody would guess that, but there's just one thing you didn't account for, Detective the Uncle. It's a shame, really. We work together. I forgot to tell you that I actually caught the wife that killed those three people. That's why I had to go when you first called. Which brings up another point. Why did you call? Steal your own painting? What would that accomplish? Then, I thought of the only possible reason. You were mad at Jane. You hated Jane. You wanted to punish her, put her in prison, perhaps? So you framed her for stealing your own painting. Then, you called me to solve the case. I'm actually hoping that I wouldn't solve it. If I didn't fully solve it, with those details that I just mentioned to you, Jane would be the thief and she would be in prison. There's just one problem. You called the wrong detective. I always solve the case. Where is the key? You mean this one? I let go? The key flies away. The balloon will fall. I'll find it. Can you afford to take that chance? Ha! You lose them, Uncle. I could just pop this the normal way, but I want to introduce you to a new friend. 